Yeah. Good morning, weekend warriors. Let's talk about working on the weekend. Who works, doesn't work, why, love it, hate it. Let's chat about it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Minutes, episode 431, Weekend Warriors. I think especially in light, I had a dinner with friends last night. You get home at, say, 1 a.m. and everyone else has the mornings off and you're rushing to work in a suit. Everyone. And it sort of sparked the conversation. Just Weekend Warriors. Working, Working weekends suck, but... It's part of it, isn't it? Like it's, I don't, I don't think it's an easy way. To, I don't know. I used to work at Domino's, which was service, like when I was like 13. So I just, I, I think I have been fortunate that, especially anyone who has a school during work, that the jobs you get generally weekends are busier. Like no, like you don't go to Domino's and they're like, we want you to work Monday, Tuesday after work. It's like, no, we want you to work Friday night, Saturday night. And you're like, shit, well, if I want to work, it's going to be the times I also want to go out. So from a very young age, I've never had the weekends. And I think you're very similar, weren't you, Mark? I don't think it's an easy way to put it. Working Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. No, I, I, I think that, look, I've got, I've got buddies that are in the food industry in uh, meat yeah. and they're up at two, two o'clock five days a week, uh, six days a week, and uh, they're they're – you know, they're working all the way through to two o'clock the next day and then go to bed. I, I guess it is one of those things that you do have – if you want to be a, a, a an artist, a scuba diver, a, a butcher, a baker, like they are the lay – that's the lay of the land basically. Oh. Uh, what's even harder this morning is me working out uh, worry, how to spell worry, warrior and weekend – all yeah. within a three-second time frame and Google, and it was very embarrassing. So I forgot, if forgot you, the spelling wrong. Right. <laughs> <Cool. laughs> very sorry. But uh, it is interesting. And, you know, get, people getting into the real estate industry, or, they do ask me, they go, look, I don't know if I'm actually prepared to give up the weekends. Uh, you know, it's an interesting comparison. Let's see what Lisa's got to say. I never understood, understood Saturday working until I came into sale. I love my Saturday opens. Yeah. Uh, and Mal says would would uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Um, uh, Lisa says I often have a giggle at people who say they want to be a real estate agent but don't want to work Saturdays. I think that's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Um, everyone's yeah. working uh, for the weekend. Consistency. You know what? Life is is life is more and more that way. I think we used to um, we used to be quite religious on people used to be quite religious on a Sunday and not work. I think people used to just not work weekends. I think people used to work just nine to five, and then I think people used to just work sort of eight o'clock till three o'clock in the olden days. You know, like on farms and stuff like that, or, or six till three. It's definitely it's it's spreading, but it's giving people flexibility. So these guys. Sure, they may have to work a weekend, but you get the benefit of of, um, of, of a day off, a day off in lieu on the weekend often. So I, I think there's a beauty in it because it's it's make rather than everyone go to bed, everyone rest, everyone you know like now it's just like twenty four seven. It's different. Yeah, and I, to be honest, I think any industry, if you want to be good at. You're actually working that time anyway, but in real estate, it's you're on show. Like if you're a successful banker or broker, you're working Saturday and Sunday. You're just not to. You just don't need to be in the office on Saturday and Sunday, but you're still working. You're taking calls. I don't think people who are super very successful. There's no five days a week. They're always on the phone or they're working. It's just in real estate, you're supposed to front up on Saturday and Sunday. So it, it, if anything, we get the glory for doing what other people do. Like if I say I'm working Saturday, people instantly think you're a hard worker. Like, Oh, that, yeah, you're putting it in. But with a lot of other industries, they're doing it voluntarily. And as you said, it comes with its perks. Like 
there's a lot of industries where nine to five, you have to be at your desk. So if you want to get a haircut, if you want to go to the physio, the doctors, it's a pain in the ass. So if you look at real estate yeah. where, yep, you got to work Saturday, but you can basically get all the flexibility in the world, that works pretty well, especially for mums. I reckon that's why we get so many in property management because they have, what, about, what about that feeling as the customer when you can go out of the, at an irregular time? Like um, how good is that feeling as a customer? Like when you know that, you know, the shopping centre's open or the shop's open or that place is open out of an ordinary time frame, you're like, yes. So I think as, as an industry, I know it's demanded, I know it's expected, but it's so bloody good um, that we're there. Even more so, we've got the office open on Sundays. We've had it open for years where people can just mosey on in, collect keys, drop off keys, get a lease signed, uh, whatever they want during those hours. That's bloody huge. So we're making a lot of people happy. And I think I think to make your customer happy, uh, extraordinary business hours or um, it, it's totally necessary, totally necessary. Well, that was uh, the hard, hard. biggest success we had in the commercial department because we just copied residential, which is work weekend. So it was, I never knew any other way. But a lot, like I still get it. Even today I got a, a, a 9 a.m. And the, when I showed him, because I showed his parents yesterday, they were like, oh, okay, do we have to see it on Monday? I was like, well, what about tomorrow? And they're like, Saturdays. Do you work Saturdays? And they're like, I'm like, yes. <laughs> so even like in that in the commercial industry, people are still very thinking it's only Monday to Fridays. So that convenience is huge. And convenience. The harder you work, the luckier you get, guys. And like you said, Michael, anyone who's actually a master of their business, um, they don't switch off on a, on a, on a, um, on a no. Saturday and Sunday anyway. Um, I think that's well said that anyone, if, if you, if you, if you want to do real well, you got to put in the solid hours, uh, whether it's a Monday or a Tuesday or a Saturday and Sunday, it doesn't really matter. You're there, you're present, you're pumping it. Yeah. And yeah. That's Saturday. That's Saturday, weekend warriors. So have, so, uh, don't worry. You worry, uh, be a warrior, go hard on the Saturday, enjoy um, other – and you know what? It sucks if you're not doing what you love. So if, you're, if you've got the shits on a Saturday, you're not doing what you love. You've got to change what you do. So I think it, it never really was even a question for, for, for me, for example, I'm sure for you, Michael, because, you know, it sounds a bit corny, but you're, you're doing something you actually really, really like. Um, and I think that if um, irrelevant to the hours, um, it doesn't grind you or hammer you if you if you actually just like it, like your gig, like doing what you do. Like, don't get me wrong, there were the only thing. <laughs> this is probably the only because let's face it, if you had school, you didn't book something when you had school, like something that's mandatory. You like you just work around it. The only place where it did suck, and I think it was early on was for, like, if you played sport. Because let's say if you do rugby, rugby was predominantly, like, Saturday afternoons. But I think if you – exactly what you say, if you love what you do, you'll make it work around it. And I think then there are probably not good reasons why you hate working only for, like, 10 minutes when you wake up on a Saturday because you had, like, a late dinner the night before. Like, that's – it's – yeah, I think everything worked well. And – Warrior. Yeah. How do, you spell, how do you spell warrior? Yeah, so what was your pun? Did you put it in there or did you do it verbally? <laughs> I did W-O-R-R-Y-E-R-S, then I did double double R-I-E-S, and then the time the clock was ticking to go live, and then it just added to just, you know, morning stress. Yeah, and if anyone knows, the amount of typos are all on me, so I'm not the best partner to bounce spelling off. <laughs> No, I'm not that warrior. And, and I'll just wrote warrior. So that there's the warrior, which is the fighter. Yeah. And then there's the warrior, which is the stressor. Yeah. So the warrior that's a stressor. How do you spell? How do you? Uh, how do you spell that? That's what this morning we'll. Uh, I googled both W O R R Y E R S, and I googled W O R R I E R S, and they both had the same 
sort of meaning. So I was like, yeah. that really sucks. But oh, you know I what? Saw... Real estate agents are no, and I saw... war, war <laughs> Yeah. Did Amal, how long, Amal, did I, her post just um, Google the other says. day? What was that? That's not what Google says. Google screwed me this morning. What did you say? Oh, like Google's bad. I type it and it comes up with both answers. It's almost like if you ever That's want to do. Google just tells you what you want to hear. Is the sky green? And there'll be some posts about the sky being green. The sky is green when blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so whenever spell checking is not the best. But what, what did Emma have the other day? She did before and after her first professional shoot and after. But I think, but Emma did, uh, she worked in the centres prior. So I'm just trying to think, you probably always worked weekends prior to jumping into real estate because Emma worked in um, the super centres. Or maybe not. They could be pretty typical. Any centre manager I've dealt with, they're pretty Monday to Friday. So Emma, you know, you anyone, with- anyone, yeah, it's, you just got to, it's just working in this, even if you, she was working in the centres, you're still, like you said, you still work the weekends because it's like, you know, you want to do well at what you're doing. So you don't just, yeah, switch off. Oh, the best video I ever saw, which makes me not feel bad about working weekends, was the one you did with Paul Severino going to the fruit market at like 3 a.m. I know you touched on it before, but it just made me think of, Mark, do you want to tell us about that video just quickly so anyone can look at it? Because if you think you work hard or have shit hours, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I went to um, one of our uh, one of my buddies works in hospitality, and they a lot, a lot of people in hospitality go and get their fruit and veg as fresh as they can, pick the best they can, and buy it and load up the truck. So I said to Paul, mate, one day I would love to come with you to the fruit market. So I think it was uh, I got up at like. 2.30 in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, went to his place, jumped in his truck, and then we went to the market, and it was hilarious what we got up to. I should dig up that video again. That was so yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll find it, and I'll – yeah, we'll find it and put in the link because it's an eye-opening, and it's just – yeah, I loved it. So we work – these, these guys – some of these guys are doing it every day. Some of these restaurateurs are grabbing their produce from the markets fresh every day. It's nuts. Behind the scenes, what goes into some of these businesses is just unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, and that's the same in real estate. Yes, you're on show maybe Saturday, but the the work that you're doing Monday nights, Tuesday, back and back is amazing. So, yeah. anyway, yeah, that's fun. Have a lovely day, everyone. Sell, 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 sell. Sell. So enjoy your See weekend. You See you, mate.